Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Before I go on to this excellent scope, don't forget to uh, book your tickets. There's a link in the description down below for British Shooting Show 2024. Looking forward to seeing lots of you there. So I spent so long chatting to regular viewers of my channel and also readers from Egg and World magazine. Awesome to meet you all last year. I'm hoping to be there three days this, this year. So the Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I think I'm going to need it to get around everybody. But brilliant to bump into you all and uh, thanks for all the feedback. You've hopefully seen my first video, I'll pop a thumb up here, of my initial review of the Arkan Zulu's ZHD 520R. The R version means it has a laser rangefinder, which is this uh, protrusion here. The purpose of this video is to talk you through setting up the ballistic calculator to work with the laser rangefinder. I've been able to set it up, so it's not that difficult. But Bruce and I have discussed this. Yeah, there's quite a few pitfalls to setting the app, the app up if you don't have everything aligned, shall we say. There's a link down below and definitely refer to Bruce's nine page PDF. This is Bruce, that's Phoenix on the UK Night Vision Forum and Mealy Jimmy on the Airgun Forum. It's very approachable. He'll very freely share all his knowledge with us, hence doing this guide. There's a smartphone app I'll show you on the screen and I'm going to show some video of me pressing buttons on the scope while I'm filming through the scope. I'm going to try and make this as simple as possible. The fundamentals for any ballistic calculator are the muzzle velocity, the pellet weight in, in grains. There are other units within the phone app. You can enter the toolbox and then enter unit settings and you can individually choose imperial or metric for any of the settings. They don't all have to be the same. You need the ballistic coefficients. There's a, some great resources uh, online for that, including, for example, the Hard Air website. I'll put a link down below to a thread on the airgunforums.co.uk. I've contributed to that and I've linked in the uh, Hard Air website. So hopefully you can find the information. A crucial thing is the height of the scope above the, the bore. You just measure the diameter of the objective lens. You measure the diameter of your shroud or barrel, and you measure the distance between the top of the shroud and the bottom of the lens that you've just measured to. And half the objective lens diameter, half the shroud diameter, and the separation. I basically just write it on a scrap of paper, work it out, and then I'll do a, a gross measurement to check I've not messed up. So that's the basics. There is a gap for G1 or G7. And in this case, Bruce's advice is just G1, the projectile or bullet or pellet profile shape. A lot of us are gonna be using this for air guns. And what you don't need to worry about is temperature, pressure, humidity. Put in an average, unless you're shooting your air rifle to like a mile, then and it's not going to come into it. I'll move the camera around, record through the scope, and I'll also record from above. I want to just make everything as, as straightforward as possible. So I'm just going to talk you through what you do with the phone. So we have two apps, Arcan Optics and Arcan Ballistics. Arcan Optics, with this app, you pop your Wi-Fi on, connect the device, and this app allows you to update the firmware of the scope itself. There'll be a little bit of toing and froing, switching the, the Wi-Fi on and so on. The second app, Arcan Ballistics, gets us into the Ballistic app. Now, this shouldn't be too daunting. You have a Bluetooth symbol here. This goes blue once the Bluetooth is on and ready to connect. Your top window here, tap it. And we have twist rate information, which is for those people doing reloading. The important stuff, zero distance, I've got it set at 30 meters, scope height, and I've got it set at 7.2 centimeters because I'm using a bullpup. You've got MOA or MRAD, I just ignore those. And come down here, drag function. You've got a choice of G1 or G7, go for G1. Go back, bullet length, now pellets in this case, 5.5 for my h and FTT, 8.64 grain, caliber 4.52. Bullet weight, 8.64 as I said. Ballistic coefficient, 0 0.016. Down below to where you'll find this information. And muzzle velocity, which I've measured with my trusty chrono from Black Bull Air Rifles. Okay, you save that. 
ignore the rest of it, come down to ballistic table and you've got your ballistic information here. This is a bit like info at Chairgun Pro, so muzzle velocity at the muzzle, the distance zero meters is 773 feet per second as input, scope height 7.2 and this shows you how the power decreases as the distance increases and correspondingly how the offset increases. So you can see here hopefully that at 20 meters the line of sight and line of flight of the pellet are coincident and at 30 meters again they're coincident. So go back, press the button top right Unit settings, so you can set all your individuals. It doesn't have to be everything imperial or everything metric. You can set individual parameters for imperial or metric as you wish. Custom ballistic table. Now, I've got two saved here so far, but you can just add a ballistic table and create them as you wish. So you can see I've got crate ZHD 520R here. Click on this. And when the Bluetooth is enabled on the phone and the Bluetooth is enabled on your scope, that paper aeroplane symbol here, top right, will go yellow. And you can press that. There's a little dial goes round for a few seconds and then it says transfer successful. And that's you good to go. Okay. Simultaneously recording through the Arcanoptic Zulu ZHD 520R and recording my key presses. So I'm going to try and press the right keys first time. Power button at the back, long press, on or off, and the zoom dial here for clockwise, basically righty tighty, screw in, so 7.5, 10, 12.5, 15, and 20. Hold on. Oh yeah, there we go, 17.5. I was a little bit ham-fisted first time. Zooming back out. I'm deliberately looking at blank background. So we have the cog. This is the settings button. Long press and we get straight into the menu. Now here it's left and right, these two buttons. So if you want to go straight to the settings, you go left and you're at the, the, the right at the end. Okay. Or you can go through all the various settings. Just going to show you the minimum here plus button at the front is the button when you're shooting that you start recording with. So press plus, ballistic ca calculation. You've got real time or ballistic table call. I always use ballistic table call. Real time means each time you range an object, you have to have your phone's Bluetooth and your scope's Bluetooth connected and your the scope will send the distance to the for your phone work it out on the app and send a solution back. So far better to use ballistic table call. Next one, aiming method, hold over. One great thing about this scope is you can choose hold over whereby your main reticle doesn't move. And when you range your target, it measures it, does the calculation, and then it, it highlights one of the uh, subtensions as a contrasting color. For example, red, if you're using a white stadia. And that's your new aim point for that range. Choose a different target, or if your target moves towards you or away, range it again, you get another one. The alternative is you choose dial-in, which I've not seen before on, uh, on scopes using a laser range finder and a ballistic calculator. And if you choose the dial-in method, once you're all zeroed, you do the same thing, you range your target, and the whole reticle shifts upwards or downwards to get your holdover spot on. Something for everybody, I would hope. For the time being, I'm sticking with holdover. Wait until you see some of the ratting footage I recently got, and I might yet end up switching to dial-in, we'll see. So for now, holdover. Distance unit is meters. PIP, I'll leave that off. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, zeroing. Okay, go into the menu, and you can go B, C, D, E. If we go for now, if I go back down, so if I go down to B, a reticle I've not used before, okay? You go to the right, and when you're happy, 
I'm going to move, redirect the scope a little bit here. When you're happy, it's the power button to pause. And if I move the scope again, yeah, the image is not moving. Now you can go up and down using these two buttons. Up with the X, then you go across to the right, and you might want to go down with the Y, minus one, two, three, four. And then as it says, long press left key to save and return, long press right key to return back. I'll do this long press right key just to uh, get out of this. Okay, so that's how to zero. And when you're done zeroing, obviously a power button again to unfreeze things. Date label, self-explanatory, on or off. Uh, loop recording, I've got that set in three minutes. So same as my Pad DS35s and you can record you know, scores and scores of three minute files on a uh, standard um, micro SD memory card. Good quality, of course, prefer preferably SanDisk, 10 speed, class one, okay? Gyro, I always keep this off because that's just ancillary information left and right on the screen that I don't want. Auto power off, I've got that set. Oh yeah, that's uh, 10 minutes. System settings. Go into here, date and time language and version. Okay. Yep, that's all correct. Oh, long press left. That's right. There we go. Okay. And then the settings button to get out, back out of the menu altogether. So that's your basics to get you zeroing and to get all your, uh, your essential info set up. So I've heard from Billy, a pest controller friend of Bruce and I, that there's an update available. So I've opened the Arcan app on my phone, switched on the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi, switched on the Wi-Fi or the scope, which is on my left, connect device, there we go. Connecting, checking quality, connected without internet. At this point, if you click enter the device, your phone goes into a live stream feed from the scope. So you don't want that. Instead, you want the bottom, on the previous screen, you want the bottom right button, info. And update firmware, check updates. Please switch to another network. Okay, switch. Switch into my sky, broadband. Check updates. Latest update detected. Ah, 11.15. Update. Cool. Firmware upgrade needs to connect to the device network. Please switch to the device network. Available, so switch into the scope. Okay, update. Ah, TF card not detected. You have to have a valid micro SD card with memory available in the scope to do this. So I've now popped in a memory card. Update. Switch. So it's asking me to switch basically to the scope. Current pro progress firmware push. Please wait. Okay. And I think right now the scope's yellow light is currently flashing, indicating the firmware is being updated. Okay, that seems to be done. The scope has restarted. Okay, recording the uh, dumb way through the back of the scope with my mobile phone. Long press of settings button into the menu. I'll go the long way around this time. System settings, down to version, and yes, 2023 11.15 v2.0. So that's the firmware updated. Brilliant. I borrowed George for a few minutes. He wanted to try out the uh, Zulu's ZHD 520R, and it's his first time using a scope with a ballistic calculator, I believe. Yes, sir. Yeah, and a laser rangefinder. So, what do you think, George? 
Well, uh, I, I just think it's fantastic. Uh, to be honest, it's uh, I'm, I'm kind of reaching for my wallet already, <laughs> uh, certainly. But uh, you know, for for what you're getting, you know, I'm, I'm all quite new to uh, ballistic calculators and even using uh, LRF laser range finding. Um, it certainly worked fine. We we're working to roughly um, 25, 30 meters there, and it was picking things up just nice and clear. Yep. The reticles, I like the love the reticle options. Yep. You know, uh, there's several there to choose from, and the zoom was just lovely, and uh, the focus worked. So, for a, this small compact unit, the ways um, the ways chuff all. <laughs> it's we. Yeah, yeah, it's just it just works great. Yeah. So Yeah. And you tried it you tried you ranged down to ten meters, didn't you? We did. And yes. it, you saw it move the holdover position. Correct. For the ballistic calculator. So uh -huh. yeah. So I right, so on, on that particular reticle it was uh, I think it was three notches down. Yep. And it just held it there at ten meters, which was great. I'd say it was spot on when we ranged find it at twenty five, yep. which is set at and it was just bang in the middle there. Yeah. So, uh, Excellent. So and, and I know from my testing, when I've zeroed this fella and tested the ballistic calculator, you have the ballistic calculator on 10 metres, that's exactly where the pellet goes. Yeah. So, right. And Bruce yeah. has tested it to 50 yards and 100 yards, and he yeah. says it's spot we could, on. You could trust Bruce. Yeah, oh, yeah. absolutely. Okay. So, so <laughs> I think you're going to be reaching for your wallet then, yeah? Yeah, yeah, well, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's in the car. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not... I'm, well, I'm not selling you this one. <laughs> so next, uh, yeah, next couple of hours I might be uh, uh, heading, on, heading online. Excellent, yeah. nice one. Yeah. Thanks, okay. thanks for your time, George. No bother. Thank you. Hopefully, I've been able to keep things relatively simple. If in doubt, click on the link in the description below to download the nine-page PDF. All the information is there. If I can do it, anyone can do it. You know, it's not it's not that bad. If you're a, a powder burning uh, shooter using various reloads and different twists of barrels and things you can put that information in if you, if you wish but for most of us it's just not required thanks very much for watching hope this uh, makes sense this video accompanies my second article in january's airgun world again that'll be on sale uh, thir wednesday the 13th of um, december in in uh, uk shops look forward to seeing you all at the shooting show thanks very much for watching hope this makes sense <laughs>